Alright, in this lesson we're going to solve this quadratic and we're going to um, also do a small sketch of it. And because this falls in the section 3-3, three, three, uh, we kind of know already we're going to have some complex solutions. On a test or a quiz, you're not really going to know you're going to have complex solutions. Um, so I'll show you how to address that. Uh, Alright, so let's first start. And I'm going to uh, use the square root method on this one. You could actually solve it with any method you want. The square root method makes kind of a lot of sense to use here. All right, so let's solve this with the square root method, the same thing we did in the previous section. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. That gives me negative 3 times the quantity, x plus 5, quantity squared, and then that equals positive 6. Now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. So on the left, I am left with x plus 5, quantity squ squared, and on the right, 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. At this point, I'm going to square root both sides. Square root the left, you have to square root the right. So square rooting a squared kind of undoes it. So I'm left with x plus 5 on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, of course, I have plus or minus, don't forget that, the square root of negative 2. So we kind of learned already how to deal with negative 2. Um, and when we're solving inequality or equalities, what we can simply do with this is we can take the negative out, so this becomes plus or minus i times the square root of 2. And let me do this over to the side just to remind you how to do that. So I do the square root of negative 2. Remember, I can think of that as the square root of negative 1 times 2. I can break that apart to two separate radicals. And then by definition, the square root of negative 1 is i. So then I can simply at this point change this to i times the square root of 2. So that's what I've done right here. I still have x plus 5 on the left-hand side. And now I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. So my solution here is x equals plus or minus i times the square root of 2 minus 5. So that's the solution to this quadratic. You'll notice it has complex solutions because I have the i there. Okay, now we want to graph this and get a picture of it. And it might be in your best interest to graph it before you solve it. And that way you know if you're dealing with complex or real solutions. All right, so to graph this, you could obviously use your calculator, but you don't have to because this is in vertex form. So I know that the vertex is negative 5, negative 6. So there's the vertex right there. I know because the leading coefficient is negative, so I know it's going to open down. So I could just sketch it like that. It's just a sketch. And so I can see that it never crosses the x-axis. So it never crosses x-axis. So what this means, therefore, this means that we have complex solutions. So if I graph this first before I solved it, and I had this kind of a graph, it never crossed the x-axis, therefore I would know that I've got complex solutions. And this is how we're going to write our answer right here. Plus or minus i times the square root of 2 minus 5. So this ends this example, and I'll do one more example in the next video.